Hello everybody, my name is Austin Bogo and welcome to the 50 subscriber special. It is so nice you guys and today I have a very very special surprise that I think will upgrade this channel uh, quite a bit. I have here a Logitech G920 or G29, I don't know which um, which version it is because there is an Xbox and a PS4 version. I have the Xbox version, I've got pedals down there. I've also got this Logitech um, joystick. This is a 3D, Extreme 3D Pro joystick. It's really meant for um, flying games, but I figured it might be kind of useful. I've actually just now set it up with um, the thingy. And I was just testing it a little while ago. But I've got everything else set up and we're fixing to try it out for the very first time. Before we get into the actual driving part of it, I just want to say a super duper duper huge thank you for reaching 50 subscribers. It really means a lot to me and I try to make the best videos that I can. And it's just, it's cool whenever people, you know, subscribe and, and, and watch my videos and stuff. But that's, that's, that's my, just thank you. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, really. Okay, I was gonna see if I could load up some hay because that's what I'm always bad at. Okay, so this is the future Ostabogo here. Um, I realized during editing that I kind of didn't make sense in that last clip you just watched. Basically, I'm just going to be spinning around this wheel and moving around this joystick and playing different games. And that's kind of the gist of this video. That I just wanted to let y'all see it and let y'all know what was happening. Oh, let's see. Maybe one day I, I, I can uh, get used to head tracking. I do have the software for it, I just, I'm not used to it yet. Okay, hello. Yeah, I'm not used to this steering wheel at all. I've got the uh, changing driving directions on this here. Let's see if we can't attach. Okay. What I did was, okay, yeah, that's open and close. That's good. Good to know. So you can twist stick to open and close these I kind of wanted that let's put it in reverse and I was never good at these kind of um, loaders with a keyboard but let's just see how I do with this this is the first stack of hay that I'm going to be getting with it so I don't even okay that's how my first stack of hay went Kind of hard to see. Okay, and we can oh, twist it the other way. Pick it up. We'll switch back to this camera. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with this. We might could put it on a trailer. This is really cool. This almost feels like real life. Yes, that feels like real life. Okay, that's a trailer. Yeah, we could... Yeah, we could do this. This, if you, um... Couldn't tell, this is... This is actually from my, um... Video about the top 50, uh... Feature requests. For Farming Simulator. Yeah, I'm using this little... Uh, I think you call it a... Hat switch or something? It's a little D-pad, basically. That, w that wasn't bad. Honestly, if I just kind of take my time and do it, I think I'd... I'd I, I mean, I like this. I do. And I think if I take my time and actually look at it and work at it, I could be better at bail stacking. But at my current standpoint, I am pretty bad. Okay. Let's see. 
What are we doing here? Oh, we just we we got it. Keep gonna have this wrong way. Which I don't know which way you would twist it. I I don't even know if you would. I don't even know if you would actually twist it in a real loader. This is fun. I like this a lot. And maybe one day I'll get used to head tracking, but right now it's kind of just not my style and this is a weird angle but this loader is just good especially with a wheel you can kind of turn it and stuff i would i would never be able to do this with a keyboard and mouse Let's see if we can set it down twist it open and then put it in reverse and back out there we go okay let's see how good a job we did Hey, not bad for my first time ever using this joystick. This is not the first time I've used a wheel and pedal, but I haven't used a joystick yet. It, it just came in yesterday, and I was actually at a friend's house, so I am I only got three hours of sleep last night, so that's fun. But, you know, it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I also wanted to try out another thing with mowers. I have set up over around some area, I guess I should put it. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was... Can you not? There we go. You just have to have the loader selected. That's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Next thing. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, we'll go ahead and start this up. I actually have buttons on here. I wanted to test them out. So these two are to turn them on. See, I can do the front and the back. And then these two are to lift them up. I can do the back and the front. So yeah, that's really cool. I was hoping that would work. Because I didn't know. I think I'm going to kind of use the mouse more for uh, stuff like this whenever I look around. Yeah, but this is, this is amazing. And what's funny is I was messing around looking at the settings for this while I was just setting it up. And <laughs> I found a setting for raise and slash lower both the front and the back uh, hydraulics. And that was one of my feature requests for Farming Simulator 21, and <laughs> made me kind of look stupid. But, I mean, who says that I'm not? <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. But if you're wondering, I have a mod with, um, I actually have two buttons up here. I have diff lock and four wheel drive which we don't need right now. But I have a mod that you can change the the way you're driving to. It's real drive add-on or something like that. Um, I think you can just look it up like FS19 real drive mod and it should pop up. If not, just leave a comment down below asking for the link and I'll I'll be happy to give it to you. This is, this is nice. I like this. And I can even, if I want, I can just pick them both up, put it in reverse. Like so, and then go like that. Which, I put it on the joystick right here for the switching to reverse and forward. Because usually, most of the time, whenever I'm switching back and forth a lot, is going to be hay work and loader work and stuff. And I thought that might be a kind of a good place. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this trigger. I don't have it mapped yet. I have this. There's a little button on the side. I don't know if it comes out on camera. But it's just right there. That's for um, follow me. There we go. Okay, I finally got the game launched. It's all okay, people. Boom, 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 boom. Vroom. 
Oh yes, I love that intro introduction loading screen. We have a new unknown input controller was found. Do you wish to use it as a control of the mouse cursor in the user interface screen's warning? This usually works well within game pads or joysticks, but steering wheels and pedals are not suitable for mouse cursor movement. I'll use that as mouse. That'll work. Oh yeah. Oh, it works. The clicky, the clicky trigger works as a mouse press. That is amazing. I love that. Okay, I, I'll do this one. And I mean, we could configure some of these buttons. I think I'm going to kind of, as we go, I'll kind of mess around more with that. Okay, so what we're running here is a Peterbilt 389. This is Viper's Peterbilt. Um, we've got it as a lime green color. We've just got the big pipes. We've got the flat top. And this is just standard. I think it's... Six, five, four chassis or something. We're running a 600 horsepower cat engine and we've got an 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Let's listen to this thing start up. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. So we'll hop on into the cab right now and let's see if we can't go and find where we need to go. Now, the cool thing about this game is that it has force feedback, so I can actually feel the rumble and feel it kind of fight me. Now, I'm not exactly sure which way we're supposed to go here. I'm going to guess it's around this corner. But that's just a kind of a random guess and might not get us anywhere. But I'm going to try anyways. Can we use this as a mouse look around her? No, we cannot. Okay. Well, we can we can use it as a mouse within the interfaces and stuff. Yeah, okay. I found the way out. So all we've got to do is wait for this gate a little bit. Okay, it's going over here. We'll just... We're good. Oh, I felt that bump. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll turn right as soon as that Walbert trailer moves. Golly, it's taking him to the whole spot. Switch on neutral and get it ready for the next go around. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of cars. I'll take this time to uh, remap some of my buttons. Will you let me? Will you let me? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of shifting with these 18 gears. Alright, yeah, we're going this way. Okay. Which, one day, at a long time down the road, probably, I um, might be possibly getting a shifter. Alright, let's look in our mirror here. There we go. We're good to go kind of mash it along here we don't have a trailer 65 speed limit we'll we'll probably go up to that which we don't have a very long distance to go which it's it's pretty far out of town to be considered in the town but we don't have a super duper far distance really So, I feel special now. I got 50 subscribers. It's just, it's cool. They're, I've I've watched YouTubers a lot, and they're always like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. I have so many subscribers. Thank you guys. Uh, and you don't actually understand how much they appreciate it until you actually become one. And, and actually, like, go through it, which 50 subscribers isn't a lot, but I mean, I've... It's, it's hard, okay, <laughs> being a small YouTuber. I mean, just how many people do you watch that are small? I mean, unless they're super duper good or 
or have something that's really really cool like a Lamborghini and you don't really watch small YouTubers you will always watch the bigger ones and that's kind of how YouTube puts their things but I'm not going to go super deep into that because then it'd just be me nerding out I don't really feel like doing that for a video okay what's happening I'm going to switch lanes here yeah I need to shift down Sometimes the AI is just, I don't know. Put it back on 65. Please tell me this bus is going 65. I really don't want to mess with lane changing. I think it's going 60, just about maybe 63 my guess maybe I'm right maybe I'm wrong but I think if we can get a quick lane changer behind this yellow car we'll be doing okay there we go now this is really for the cars and a really slow bus with a really slow truck passing it yeah the car behind me is going to be kind of mad but you know, it's it's only AI, so doesn't matter too much. And I think we can merge now. Merge? Keep Lane. And then Is that exit right. what you would do? Is that how you say that? Yeah, I'm going to exit right. The Jake brake count sounds kind of weak. But now it sounds cool. It sounds kind of weak in the, um, in the cab. Now it didn't sound weak, but... Turn okay, left. yeah, turn left. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'll do it. There we go. Kind of shift down. Hopefully, none of you guys are annoyed by the clicking and stuff. Are you gonna... Go? Oh, okay, yeah, I thought you were. I think maybe this bus will let us go. Unless, no, this truck is coming. Another truck coming. They gonna let us go? We're going. Oh, a lot of shift in there. Which I got told by some people. Oh, we're going straight. Whoops. <laughs> or I, I've heard off the internet that you're not supposed to shift in an intersection, but. They should have an exception to that, I feel. And they might already do, but I mean, you can't do that with an Eaton Fuller 18 speed transmission. I can feel the bumps. That's so cool. All right, I need it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's just right up here. We'll go ahead and shift. Oh, we got to stop? What's with it? What's with it? What's going on? Oh. Your your is now okay. Let's do that. And we're in the freight market. And it was that one. We'll be taking this job. I mean, it does really good with heavy, heavy cargo. This truck does. It's got tons of power. Where are we heading? Oh, I'm sorry. I just bumped the camera stand is it around this corner i think it may be it's kind of hard to tell is that the trailer i think yeah that's the trailer around the corner it's not that one that looks about the same though it adds uh, one i think it's against the wall or something yeah it's this one okay we're gonna do a little spinny round here though I don't want to just turn that and it'd be too bad for the truck, I think. Okay, that's full lock. That's okay. Okay, we'll put it in here. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to back up over here and then I'll 
go next to it, pull up, and then attach, I think, is the best option we got here. Should be better than the last video that I... Or was it? No, I, uh... I recorded a video, but I didn't upload it because it was bad. Too bad to upload. An American Truck Simulator. But this should be pretty fun. You can see me with the wheel. I always like that, I know. From other YouTubers. Okay, we're good. So, which one's the trailer brake again? Because we can put it low, low, and... Is that it? Yes, that is the trailer brake. I did a, I did good. We can... We're attached. Oh. Oh, no. I need to go visit the... Oh, I should have visited. I needed to go visit the um, the shop. I should have done that before I recorded this video. Uh, I guess it's okay. We all make mistakes. How much is it? At? Oh, it's this button. I don't want to pull up the PDA while we're driving. Twelve percent. Okay, we'll we'll try to get by with that. This is gonna be kind of hectic corner. As long as we don't get hung up. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. Yeah. How do we do this corner? We're gonna have to... Yeah, I said this wasn't gonna be bad, but that was just the hooking up part. Are we really gonna have to back this thing up? I've never done back this thing up. So I know it's gonna be bad. Time. What if we go this way? We go this way. Pull lock. We stop because we're gonna hit that. I can tell. It does a lot of jiggle wiggle. The steering wheel. Oh, wrong way. Wrong thing. Wrong button. Let's just. Mash it, mash it, mash it. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. You break free, break free. Put it lower gear and mash on it. Back up a little. And we'll gas it. Okay. We'll put it in one low. Mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I just blew up my engine. If, it, if this was a real life, I just blew up my engine. Because that was super high RPMs. Okay, we've we've made it. Engine malfunction, yeah. Makes sense. If we have to, we'll just get an SOS. If we really have to, I don't think we will. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Okay, we're at a super high gear. I don't know when that happened. I guess I shifted too much. But we'll make this turn here. Oh, that's too tight. Okay. We're good, we're good. Go kind of slow over these. I don't want to mess up anything. Pop a tire or something. Which I don't know if you can. Just the railroad. That's a lot of trucks. See those over there in the distance? Yeah, that's a lot of trucks. Good thing we don't have to wait on that. We can just keep going. Okay, but he's going to pull out. Get ready to turn left. Right there. Yep, right in front of me. I mean, I would do the same thing, so... I'm not blaming him, but yeah, it's AI, it's AI, and that's, oh my gosh, you bus, you bus, you get a honk, you get a honk for that, thought you were going to, thank you, thank you, thank you, I really do appreciate it, now, I'm going to go, have a nice day. Well, that worked out, huh? Oh, I need to 
scoot up a little more. These brakes are kind of hard to hit. And this Logitech steering wheel. Or pedals, really. I'm going to have to ship a little bit higher up this hill. Oh yeah, this truck is pulling. Yeah, listen to that turbo. I love high-pitched screams in my ear. Let's see if we can't get up here on the interstate. Yeah, we're good. Floor it, floor it, floor it, floor it. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Grab your Cokes, grab your Dr. Peppers, grab your Pepsis, grab whatever drink you like. And we'll sit down for the ride. I've got my cream soda up here, but I gotta shift. Okay, we'll do that. Ah, that's some good cream soda. I'll just sit back and relax from here on to wherever we're going. I actually don't know. I'm gonna pull up the thingy. And it is F6 Portland. That's where we're going. Portland Cargo Central. We've got a big bulldozer weighing 89,000 pounds. So that's why this beastly truck was pulling up that hill. Get up here. 11 hours to do it. Tuesday to Wednesday. So we're going to be trucking through the night, it looks like. Unless we stop. Which I don't have the fatigue simulation on. So we really don't have to. We don't have a need. Alright. Well. Okay. Yeah. Getting off on the side a little bit. We'll get up here to. Uh, 65 or so. And. Just ride the speed limit. There we go. Cruise control. Take it. There we go. Sometimes cruise control is confusing, but that just might be my small brain and my three hours of sleep last night. Which I'm going to go to bed early tonight, and I get to sleep in tomorrow because we're on break. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I've, I've made... Um, a lot of trips in this truck I really like it I um I've got some mod modded trucks installed I've got this Peterbilt of course I've got a uh, a cab over Freightliner I do believe um let's see what else I've got another Peterbilt it's 560 or something like that I don't know it's it's kind of a uh, it's a steam workshop mod and it's a Peterbilt I don't know it's like a newer aerodynamic it's, it's not like a hood like this it's aerodynamic hood and stuff all them newer trucks I I really enjoy these old old Peterbilts I I really like their style Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. Ooh, that scared me, oh my gosh. It feels like I'm actually driving almost. Yeah, I damaged that a little bit. Oh my gosh. We'll just have to get back going. Yeah, sorry folks, can I put my there we go. I don't know what that button does. Sorry, folks. Oh my goodness, that scared me. I didn't know that was gonna flip that. You know what? That truck's stability, I think, is what's making this difficult. Truck stability, trailer stability. Stability? I can't say that very good. Stabil stability. Yeah, we got it. I'm sorry, folks. Don't mind me. I got my hazards on. 
I'm just a broken Peterbilt. Let me get up to speed here. Again. Alright, we can probably turn those off. Okay. Can you... Turn back on, thank you. Okay, we need to go around this. Dude, can, can you let me bus? Thank you, bus. All the buses are finally being nice to me. Usually they're pretty mean. And they'll like cut in front of you and stuff. Yeah, that's a big heavy bulldozer. And my engine is messed up. I was at 20 damage. Well, I am at 20 damage. And that is not great. So, I, I know I can, I can feel my transmission. Or I can hear it. I'll say I can feel it. I'm not in the truck, but... Okay, I'm in 8 high. So we're, we're boogieing, boogieing down the road. I don't know. I would say try and get to a mechanic. But then again, the, um, oh man, I want to shift so bad. It, it's going to be hard with this trailer because it's just so long and big and bulky and you can't back up with it, or I can't. I know there's people that can, but I'm not that skilled. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. There we go. I'm stable again. I don't think I'll flip. Man, that was... Oof. Oh my. Pulling for an inspection. Yeah, 15 miles per hour. We got to slow down pretty fast. Okay, yeah. So that's how my driving's going today. My blinker, thank you. Oh, still got that on. Just have to stop on here. Don't even have to stop, haha. -ha. Now we gotta take the 10 minutes it takes just to get back up to speed. And now we gotta wait for traffic. No, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go. I thought about it. Unless it's let me. Thank you. Man, I wish I could see my gears. I usually have that where I could see my gears on my dashboard, but all it says is that warning. I don't really like that. Kind of annoying. I do have a pedal to the metal right here, though. And I mean, it's pulling. Is that an exit? Yeah, to a bed rest. Uh, we don't need that. Not yet. We might sleep through the night. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What I wanted to do. Okay, that truck's trying to pull in. I think... You better not. You better... You better... Oh my. I can't turn as tight. Runaway truck ramp. Where I didn't even realize we were going down a mountain. Sitting here mashing on it. These are really tight turns. This is this is kind of a hard load. Difficult load. 
it's got this mountain here. Yeah. I'm gonna just kinda coast a little. And put that on a little while. Cause we're going fast. No thank you, don't wanna flip. There we go, we're good again. Oh, we can't shift, okay. I really do like this joystick. It is, um, old. No. Please don't. It is an old joystick. Uh, it does work for Windows 10. I mean, the box says it works for Windows 7, Windows 10, and Windows Vista. I mean, those are fairly old. I know Windows Vista is nothing, like hardly nothing runs on Vista, and I mean this thing runs on it, which it's it's the old Logitech symbol on there too, but they're still selling them, which isn't a bad thing at all. This is, the, from what I have, this is a great grip. This is... It's so natural. It's got this thing to hold your your hand. This is, uh, it's got the twist. It's got this for uh, airplanes and stuff. That nature. I mean, it's got this little D-pad. It's got tons of buttons. I don't know, there's six and four up there. That's 10. And then you got the trigger and the, and the dilly thing. That's 12. You got the up and down. This is, it's really, cool I'm I'm very impressed this is I'm I'm really glad I got this especially for farming simulator you're mean pulling out in front of me oh my goodness trying to peacefully be a youtuber here talk about a joystick that i really enjoy this is kind of a nice old truck yeah that's what we always say when we're driving down the road even in just pickups say oh that's a nice truck or well trucks are usually 18 wheelers and for our household and then there's pickups which is pickups you know like the pickup in front of us or that's a nice car that's passing us here in a little bit please don't pull in front of me thank you get a little toot 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 oh going off the side of the road i this is really comfortable joystick see i would use this joystick but the only th thing I would use it for American Truck Simulator, but the only thing is I have to shift up with the paddle, or that's how I have it set up. And, uh, yeah, that's how it works for me. Okay, that's that button, and then this is the high and low beam. And these two are for the up and down of the wheels. There is hazards, there's a trailer brake on one of these three I can't remember button functions that great and I haven't thought about American Truck Simulator as much as I have Farming Simulator I sat down and thought about how I like it best and stuff but I'm gonna have to take cruise control off I can't merge into the next lane to pass this guy He's going a little bit slower than what I'm going, but now he's speeding up. Which I don't want to get too close behind him. I just end bad. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, quit hitting those brakes, please. Okay. Yeah, this is far enough behind him. Keep swerving off. I'm bad around curves. 
if you couldn't tell. Can't turn very good. Especially with the sun glaring in my eyes. That is a pretty picture up there. That those rocks and stuff. To uh, our left up here. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. Those. That's that's pretty. I was gonna switch lanes. I could have, but nope. And wasn't paying attention. I was looking at rocks. I can hear you misfiring. That is, I don't like that at all. On F5. Oh, we've only got an hour left. You've listened to me talking for 10 hours. How do you feel? <laughs> Okay, hello, hello. I don't need you that close, there, buddy. There we go. We're good. See, they slow down and speed up. That's one thing that I really don't like about the AI. And especially I have like a realistic AI traffic mod. It's from the Steam Workshop. It's pretty popular and I have realistic graphics too. Oh, don't go off the side there into the water that would be bad or is that water i think that's water pretty sure it was um but the only thing about that mod is there's is there's so much traffic at like the busy times and stuff it's it's kind of bad and they just pile up on each other Oh, the speed limit's 60 here. So we can't go 65. Left. Keep left. Okay. Hello. Car. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I felt that. I felt that. I felt that. Oh my gosh. Mm. Keep crashing. You know, what's funny is I like never crash. When I'm off camera. Oops. Oh, wrong button. Take that. Back up a little. Let's see if we can't merge into this other lane. It's going to be impossible. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, the car is right there. Okay. I need to... Is there going to be a nice young feller to uh, let me... Oh, no. I don't want a traffic jam. I already got one, though. Is it clear? Oh! <gasps> it's clear. Finally clear, which that wasn't a bad traffic jam. I've been in worse, but man, I hate traffic jams. Do we have to. Okay, well, we can get right back on, I think. Better be able to, otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble here. I don't know. There's flashing lights up ahead of the road, too. Hopefully, they don't have the on ramp closed down. Be really bad. That's what the GPS wants us to do. See, I can't tell which gear we're in. I would be in low, low right now. But you know what? I can't tell, so. Okay, that's neutral. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. 